Oh, so my student just had to cancel because he's hurt his arm at work, so I'm having a nice cup of tea. But I'm in work mode, so I need to tell you more stuff uh, with my free time. So instead of just sitting here and drinking a nice cup of tea, I'm going to help you not fail your driving test. So these are some of the reasons um, why you can fail for using incorrect signals. Um, perhaps the timing of your signal is wrong. Perhaps it's it was necessary to put on. Perhaps it should have been correctly done or it was incorrectly done. Um, perhaps it was necessary. T yeah, timed, necessary or correctly. OK, those are all the boxes on the form um, when you go to your driving test. So let's go through. So this one you can fail for. If the examiner or the sat nav has told you to take the second road on the left, the examiner's words will be, I'd like you to take the second road on the left. Or the um, sat nav will say, in 900 yards, turn left. And then there's one at 400 yards as well. So this is a timing issue, all right? So as you come up, if you were to signal left before this turn to take this turn, I'm afraid that is going to make you fail. If you plan to go like this and you signaled before this turn, if somebody's in here, I'm afraid you're going to fail. Necessary. <clears throat> if you forget to signal and somebody's around, OK, I've drawn a T-junction on this occasion, but this can be any junction, all right, any junction. If it was necessary for you to communicate with another person and you forget to signal at any junction, I'm afraid that is going to make you fail. You might get away with this if there is no one around, but be careful, all right? So, yeah, just keep an eye on that. Okay, three, correctly. Um, I hope it makes sense that if you signal the wrong way to do a turn, I'm afraid that's going to make you fail. So, signalling left uh, to turn right, afraid that's not going to work out very well. Um, signals necessary. Again, it's similar to this one, okay, but I've done it at a roundabout because it's quite common here. If the inside of the roundabout has a curb and it's raised, then you need to communicate with the person who's coming into the roundabout by using an exit signal after the exit that you don't want. So you, in this case, you'd go straight on. So you'd come in and then you'd signal to the left to communicate with him, mostly, that you're coming out. If you don't mirror and signal here to come out, I'm afraid that could cost you your driving license um, chance, okay? Um, correctly timed, okay, so this is you parked at the side of the road. Option one or example one, example two, all right? So if you are at the side of the road after the examiner's pulled you up and he says, please pull out with it when you're ready. If you put the signal on to the right when people are driving up towards you, if you put this signal on when people are coming up and if this person totally freaks out and does a stop because they are um, like unsure about what you're doing, if it affects this person and makes them slow down or change direction in any way by swerving or stopping, I'm afraid that's gonna cost you your driving um, test. If this is you, example number two, so omit this now, this is you, you could fail if you're signalling to the left still, if you haven't turned it off from before, and then you pull away with the left signal on. That could make you fail your test. I have seen people get away with it, but I have heard that people have failed for it as well. So be very careful. When you come to a stop, do three things, handbrake, on, into neutral, two, signal off. So I call it the one, two, three. Handbrake on, one, into neutral, two, signal off, three. Timed, if you've been asked to turn left, you can't just put it on at the second of you turning because this person would have needed to know about it a lot earlier. All right, so if you're coming up like this and then you're like turning and then you're like, ah, signal, uh, that could cost you your exam. Again, over the years, I've had people get away with it with a late signal mark, but I will be very careful. You should be probably putting it on six to eight car lengths away, depending that there's not another turn that looks confusing. All right. Seven, last one on this list. There's probably others, guys, but these are just an example. This is a few examples. Another one is leaving the signal on. 
um, when you didn't need, want to, all right? So this often happens after a roundabout. As you come in, you've done the roundabout, you've done your signal outs because the inside of the roundabout has curb and it's raised, so you're signaling out to communicate with anybody here, right? So you've got your signal on and then you don't turn it off. You forget to turn it off and then you unfortunately go past a left turn where there is someone trying to come out. I'm afraid that would cost you your exam as well. So there's probably other um, examples that I haven't thought about um, with my tea break that I'm having, but certainly over the years, um, these have made my student fail or certainly get minus four. So I hope this protects your ability to get your driving license. Good luck with your driving test.